This is an audio comparison test of the Rode Procaster and the AKG D5S. We are doing this audio comparison test in front of my closet, which is behind me, and I am speaking towards my bed. Again, it is important to note that my bedroom does not have any audio treatment except for the clothes in my closet. It is also important for you to note that I live beside a busy and noisy street, so you might hear cars and motorcycles passing by. And also, my neighbors are so noisy that you might hear these neighbors shouting down the hallway. I may or may not edit the audio of this video in post-production, so make sure to check the description of the video below. There is a lot of hype for this microphone, the Procaster. And a lot of the reviews and a lot of the podcasters, they sing praises for this wonderful microphone, this heaven sent microphone. But sadly, after using this microphone, I did not come to the same conclusion for a couple of reasons. Number one is that, (laughs) maybe this is just my voice, my voice tend to sound muddy. And with this microphone, I sound like I'm talking out of my nose. Like, you know, I'm talking to, I mean, I'm exaggerating, but I, I tend to sound like that. And number two, there is, there's too much bass in this microphone. And that is... Partly, partly because I, you need to talk to this microphone uh, about two inches away from the front element. And if you so decide to speak further away from the microphone like this, the microphone will not fucking pick you up. So that is uh, some of the reasons. But one of my main reasons is that this microphone costs like around $100 or less than $100, depending on where you buy it. This microphone, this, this, costs $250. And this microphone does not sound like $150 more than the this microphone, the AKG D5S. So what we're going to do is I'm going to switch these microphones and you be the judge. Alrighty, this is how the AKG D5S sounds like. Now, as you can see, there is not much difference between the AKG D5S and the Rode Procaster. So if you're not hearing that much of a difference, why pay that hundred plus dollars for the Rode Procaster? Sure, the Rode Procaster might have better... um, Uh, noise rejection than the D5S and uh, it is a little bit cleaner but that that doesn't justify the price tag of this microphone and some might say sure uh, the the, the Rode Procaster is built like a murder weapon you can just bludge someone's head with this blunt force weapon and it's still going to work but you know, this this microphone, the D5S, is also built with a metal housing. And uh, in my opinion, if you are doing a podcast, if you are going to use the, uh, these microphones for a podcast, I will vote for the D5S because it sounds more open. This microphone has... It doesn't sound like you're your voice is being crushed down. And I think it's a function of the noise isolation of the Procaster. And also this microphone, the AKG D5S, I, I, I personally prefer it, not only because it works with my voice, but also it is a more versatile microphone. You can use it like this, mounted on, on a, a boom arm. You can also hold this microphone for interviews. And you just can't do that with this microphone because if you handle this microphone, you will hear you will hear that. But this microphone is designed to be a stage microphone. So if I take it out of, of the arm, 
you see I can handle it and yeah, I can handle it and you don't hear much of the much of the handling noise of this microphone because the mic is intended for that so to me I think I'm going to sell the Procaster and just use the D5S as my go-to microphone. If you found this video helpful or useful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to make more videos like this in the future. And if you decide to buy one of these microphones, either the AKG D5S if you agree with my conclusion or if you disagree with my conclusion and you like the Procaster better, <laughs> I would ask you to buy it through my affiliate link in the the blah blah or <laughs> the description of the audio below. So thank you and hopefully, hopefully you are going to subscribe to the channel and I will see you soon.